HFCM allows you to paste custom code to your WordPress website, header, or photo area. To use some tools like the Facebook Pixel, Google Ads conversion tracking, and others that require pasting a particular code in the header section of your WordPress website, this plugin makes the process easier for you. Hi guys, this is Jaswan Valia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we will learn how to use the HFCM plugin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so once you have logged into your WordPress dashboard, what you need to do is look into your left sidebar and you can just go to plugins from here. Let me just find plugins. All right, sorry. So you can just go to plugins from here and go to in add a new plugin. And once you're here, what you can do is you can just search for HFCM. Once HFCM starts showing up, you can just click on more details to read a little bit about what HFCM is, how it works, the benefits, the features, some of the reviews, screenshots of how it works, FAQs, and of course the installation process. And then you can just hit on install now. Once it is done installing, click on activate. Awesome. The header footer code manager will start showing up on your left sidebar as well. So as you can see, HFCM is right here. Now the codes or snippets that are added to your website can be shown right here on all snippets. Now no snippets are available because I have not added anything yet. But what you can do is you can just go to add a new snippet from here. So it, it will be either here under HFCM left sidebar or it will be right here. As you can see where my cursor is, it will be right here. So you can just click on add new snippet. Now, whenever you want to add your Facebook pixel or your Google ads tracking code, this is the place where you would come, right? So you could just name the snippet something, for example, Google ads, Facebook pixel, whatever you want. The snippet type has to be HTML, the site display. Now this can be site-wide. It can be used for a specific post, specific page. For example, your Facebook pixel can be used for a specific page, right? And that specific page, once you choose that specific page, that specific page can be your about us page, your contact us page, your home page, or your thank you page. Or it can be a specific post. Now the post can be any of the posts that you have right? So whatever you want, you can choose. Most of the snippets would definitely be site-wide or used on specific pages. So I'm just going to click site-wide right here. If you want to exclude any pages, you can write here. If you want to exclude any posts, you can choose from here. The location would be header for sure. Device display on devi all devices and the status would be active. And when you scroll down, all you have to do is copy and paste the snippet or the code right here and save the changes. Let me just um, show you one of the, I have another website. Let me just show you the Google Ads tracking code that I had pasted in that website. So I'll just go to Justin Walia slash WP dash admin. Awesome. So now that I'm on my dashboard, you can see HFCM is right here in the left sidebar, all snippets. Now I have two tracking codes here. One is the, one is the event snippet and one is the Google Ads tracking code, which is displayed site-wide. So global site tag is displayed site-wide. As you can see, I have two snippets right here, right? So event snippet is used for specific pages. For me, it was my thank you page and global site tag is used site-wide. So as you can see, the status is on, the snippet name is right here, the display is showing either site-wide or specific pages, location header, snippet type HTML, and the rest is fine. So as you can see, once you start adding the snippets, it will start showing you, showing it to you right here. And if you want to learn more about how you can add these two site tags, I will link the 
video here in one of the cards or in the description box down below as well. So go ahead, check it out and you will be able to learn more on how you can add these snippets on WordPress website. So there you go. We have successfully learned how to install HFCM and add some snippets on our WordPress website. Hope you guys were able to understand how to use the HFCM plugin on your WordPress website as well. If you like the video, go ahead, tell me in the comment section down below. And of course, if you have any other videos that you would like to see on the Learn Today channel as well, you can put that in the comment section as well. Go ahead, hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Justin Valia and I will see you in our next SOP.